Hello there! Welcome to the tutorial. This is Piri and I'm here to help you out about some of the questions you might have about heroes and generals. Uh, first of all, and you probably already know this, but this game is divided in two parts. Uh, you got the RTS part of the game and you got the FPS part of the game. The one we are currently looking at is the RTS part of the game. So let's try and divide this in segments and uh, make it easy for you to understand uh, some of the things that you don't know or others that you might have some questions about about how they work so uh, let's start okay guys so um, let's get started with the tutorial uh, first of all um, I would like to say that um, I have most of the questions that uh, new players have um, posted on the forums um, and sometimes even ask the more uh, experienced players uh, in the chat in game and um, if you have not read the replies they made um, I'm gonna try and reply to you now to the best of my ability uh, those same questions uh, and hopefully help you out and uh, trying to understand this uh, pretty awesome game so uh, first of all um, let's start um, with what you see as soon as you start the game. So as soon as you start the, the browser part of the game uh, you will have to choose um, a war and a side to play to basically. Uh, after that what you get is uh, this menu. Uh, basically you will see a character area, uh, assault team and campaign. You will start with uh, a hero which is basically um, the character that you use to fight the FPS part of the game and uh, you will name it and uh, basically will come equipped with a uh, with a weapon uh, according to uh, the faction that you chose in this case as I play for the Axis uh, this is my character and uh, it comes equipped with a K98 later on you can purchase different weapons uh, but in the beginning this is the one you have uh, currency you have two types in game uh, you got gold and you got credits. Gold basically um, you get by just spending real money in the game. Um, credits on the other hand you get it by playing the game itself. Um, at the moment you can only get them from uh, playing the FPS part of the game. Later on you will also get credits from playing the RTS part of the game. And that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, at the moment uh, what you do to get them is basically go into a battle with your hero um, and by the end of the battle um, a, a certain value is determined to you according to the number of players you killed uh, vehicles you destroy uh, or objectives you capture uh, there's also a part of uh, the amount you get that gets um, higher up according to the level you currently have so uh, basically that's the way you get money uh, to spend and to buy things in game. Okay, so uh, the character tab. There's uh, a lot here and I'm gonna try to uh, break down as fast as I can but in a way that you can also understand it. So uh, as I told you before you start with your hero and your hero is simply an infantry dude uh, equipped with uh, the K98 which is the the basic infantry weapon for uh, the Axis side. Uh, later on, as you gain credits uh, in the FPS part of the game, uh, you can purchase uh, empty slots. And these empty slots can be filled with uh, different types of, uh, of heroes. Uh, you can choose, uh, as I chose uh, by example, a uh, tank crew that uh, drives tanks uh, and mechanized units. Um, you can go to, um, to a pilot, uh, an airplane pilot. You can be a paratrooper, you can be a recon class, that's basically the sniper in game. Um, and you do that by uh, come here, buy the slot, and then buy the, the hero itself. Uh, some other things here that you can see. Uh, you can see the, the rank, uh, uh, the rank of your uh, hero uh, that consists on basically uh, two parts, uh, the combat XP level and the tactical XP level. Combat you gain by uh, killing people, um, damage dealt, uh, planes destroy, tanks that you destroy as well, uh, everything that has to do with the combat part. The tactical one, basically, uh, is more of, a, um, of another nature. 
uh, you get it by simply uh, capturing uh, objectives, um, stopping captures, uh, battles that you won over the time that you play uh, this game. Uh, one other thing that's quite important. Uh, to get combat badges, um, which is basically an enhancement on your hero, basically allows you to uh, be faster at running or uh, carry more ammo or um, be faster at reloading your weapon, etc, etc. You can get those by uh, simply playing the game. And as you play the game, uh, as you kill people, uh, destroy tanks, um, even uh, ride a bicycle, you get something that's called ribbons, uh, combat ribbons. And those ribbons, or the combination of a couple of those ribbons, will progressively unlock you new badges. Then you just go to the badge itself, check the info, and uh, choose the one you want uh, according to your playstyle. And uh, that's basically uh, the achievement part in the rank system itself. One more thing that I gotta say is that uh, the rank of your hero is determined by these two ranks. So the higher they are, the combination of the two will give you your rank. Uh, the last part of this and uh, uh, that I want to talk about is the weapons you can carry on your hero. So you're probably just starting, oh period, I want to be a sniper. Uh, I want to buy a sniper rifle and uh, I want to be a sniper in, in the FPS part of the game. Well, you can you can certainly do that, but uh, not uh, with your first hero. Uh, with your first hero, the only thing that allows you to do is basically change the weapon and you got to purchase them, is um, choose a couple other uh, types of weapons to use. Basically, you go click on the get more and those are the weapons that you are basically entitled to buy to use as uh, a basic infantry type. So you get uh, the MG42, uh, the Panzerfaust, which is an anti-tank weapon, uh, the K98, which is the one you got from the beginning, so don't do as I did, don't buy another one, <laughs> and the MP40, which you can play with it after you, re you reach level 6. And you can see here at the bottom the prices that each weapon um, carries uh, for its purchase. After that you get the weapon you just need to come here equipped and you're good to go. Same hero different weapon. And of course for the ones that don't like the, K the K98 so much uh, even though it's a very good weapon after you get used to it uh, you can you can choose a machine gun and play with it and uh, maybe for you it will be a bit easier. Uh, this is my weapon of choice actually I like it a lot. It's uh, versatile, uh, but the K98 I played pretty well with it as well, and it has a lot of advantages. Uh, and I think that uh, that wraps it up for uh, the character part of the game. Other things are easy. You just uh, uh, just need credits to to buy the other things: uh, a sidearm, uh, mines, uh, even um, close combat weapons. That I don't have any because I <laughs> I normally don't use them. But uh, eventually I will buy them, it's just uh, I'm buying other stuff. So that wraps it up for the, the character section of the game. Oh and uh, wait, of course, uh, one more thing that I wanted to talk about. That's actually not that uh, important in the beginning of the game. You probably will want to spend your uh, hard-earned credits somewhere else. But uh, you can also do modifications to the weapons. And that is important to do. Um, if you want the weapon by example to do more damage to be more accurate and you can do that by simply click on the wrench here it will open up a whole different uh, menu for it and uh, you can just change parts of the weapon itself the barrel, the side internal part of the, the chamber for the bullets uh, the ammo part, uh, the trigger and all that will enhance your um, your weapon in a specific way. Uh, the bullets, all the bullets, what do they do? Less recoil, more recoil, uh, less or more uh, rate of fire on the weapon. Uh, I have not uh, dealt too much with this. All my weapons are still at the basic and uh, actually I think they work pretty well and uh, I don't see why spend in the beginning of the game when there's so much to purchase 
um, to spend money on uh, the weapon itself but uh, each one has uh, its own way of playing the game and uh, who am I to say do not buy this or do that I'm just here to try and explain you um, the best I can uh, your options for this game uh, so now uh, I think I've talked about everything I wanted to talk in the in the character tab